Alright guys, welcome. Uh, this is a little different. I usually stream, but I figured I would do a video this time because I've had a lot of people requesting to see what my build is. And, I mean, hey, if you want to see how to do it, then that's fine. So, I'm going to start off with the easiest thing is just going to be... These are the passives that I have. Uh, some of them... I think all but one of them is actually pretty easy to get. Uh, I do have one from New Sirocco, which is this one, and honestly, probably not the best synergy I have. I took this passive when I was using a different weapon, and it worked really well with that weapon, not so much with Gep's Blade. With all being said, uh, we're going to go through, I'm going to actually show you the different skill trees. The armor that I'm using is Mana Wall with Calm Soul. Sangfroid, and Freedom. Uh, and that gives me Slowdown, Cripple, and Hampered Resistance, Burning Resistance, and Panic Resistance. So I don't get burned, I don't get panicked, and then it's a lot harder to get Slowdown, Cripple, or Hamper. Uh, Forge Glass, Chakram, inflicts Hampered. And Gep's Blade is not enchanted. Gep's Blade is also a bitch to find. Um, I'm not going to cover where to find the mysterious bl long blade and all of that because it's such a random thing. But it is in Caldera. Uh, none of this equipment was found by this character. It was all from my other one. The mana wall armor is barrier armor. You put in a legacy chest. It's the uh, ethereal barrier helm passed down by your ancestors. Put it in a legacy chest, pick it up with a new character, turns into mana wall. Alright, so the first place you're going to want to come if you're wanting to do this build is to the hermit. Uh, you're going to talk to him. Excellent. Listen to me. Have him train you. And this is the tree that I took. The biggest thing you want here is shamanic resonance for this. Um, it doesn't hurt to have the extra decay resistance and the weather tolerance. You want shamanic resonance for the additional boon. Uh, it just makes mist work that much better. And anything else you're using as well. Infuse wind uh, to me made more sense than the sigil. And then Conjure, just so you get the extra little person. But yeah, that's about... Uh, that's Just grab the whole tree if you can. Uh, this should, won't be your first character if you're using Mana Wall, so yeah. Alrighty, and your next your next stop for skills will be right here. You're just going to grab... Hey there! All of these. Uh, again, the biggest thing here is Master of Motion. For the... Uh, Impact and damage resistances under when you're under discipline. It makes a big difference. Greetings, friend. And then this is where you get all your chakram skills. So of course, uh, it also it's nice to have the extra ley line. I took fire affinity, just so that I didn't have to deal with sigils. Uh, I do believe I have one coming up. I, well, no, fire affinity won't matter to that. Yeah, that's the basics of this build. Uh, your pre-combat setup is going to be start with Enrage Focus for Discipline you want to make sure you always have Mist on when you're going in your other boons, I have all five here um, your other elemental boons will be dependent on what you're fighting uh, elemental resistance potion always goes well Carry some extra discipline potions, a couple extra mist potions, just because you need that discipline to use your chakram, and you're using ethereal, so uh, mist always works wonders. Then rage increases your impact. Stability potions work really well with this build also, because they don't have a lot of... Um, you don't have a lot of impact resistance off the top. If I remember correctly, uh, I don't. There's not a way to view my actual. Yeah, there is. So yeah, this is kind of what you. There we go. But this is how my attack sits with this, or how my stats sit with this. So you've got. Decent to all 
elements, or you got some resistance to all elements, but you do have that 14 uh, barrier and 10 protection. Works really well. But yeah, uh, this is my build. This is the one that's taken me through co-op with Dead Willpower through the entirety of my faction quest. I still haven't done Rest and Revenge or Caldera with this character, but I'm planning to. And though I've had a couple of defeat scenarios, for the most part, you don't have to worry about it. It's very, very tanky. It deals a lot of damage very quickly. If you want to try it for yourself, go out, you know, go out there and grab it. See what you think. But anyways, guys, like I said, videos aren't normally my thing. I'm I'm a streamer, so this is probably clunky as shit. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this answered the questions some people have had. Look forward to seeing everybody next time. Until then, as always, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful day, because I'm uploading this in the middle of the afternoon.